Biotin is not an effective treatment for male pattern hair loss, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why. How's everyone doing? It's Isaac Wade, doctor of pharmacy, and the human body is so incredibly complicated that the only way we can know if a treatment is effective is to run a large human randomized control trial, or a RCT. In this type of study, participants are divided into a treatment group and a placebo group. These two groups are followed over time, efficacy outcomes are measured, and then we use statistical tools to determine if differences in efficacy outcomes are due to the treatment or because of random chance. And in situations of life and death, we don't tolerate BS, right? We make recommendations based on outcomes from large RCTs. If you had cancer and your oncologist prescribed you a medication, it would be supported by a large human RCT. If you had heart failure, your cardiologist, right, they would prescribe you treatment supported by large human RCTs. If you had diabetes, glaucoma, multiple sclerosis, or any other type of debilitating and or life-threatening condition, your doctor would prescribe you treatment supported by, you said it, large human RCTs. However, in the field of cosmetics, quackery is prevalent because guess what? No one cares if you lose your hair. As a bald man, you're still going to go to work, you're still going to pay your taxes, you're still gonna be making all of the different societal contributions that are expected of you, and I can sit up here and I can say, hey guys, it's Dr. Isaac, buy my hair restoring anti-inflammatory prune juice with apple cider vinegar, and no regulatory person is gonna bat an eyelid because it doesn't matter if you go bald. Anyway, so that's my rant, but let's get back to biotin. So my issue with biotin is that there have been no human RCT studying its efficacy in male pattern hair loss. Based on a large review article by Patel and colleagues, the only study on biotin are one, case studies, where we're looking at literally one participant. Two, they're done in babies or women mostly, whose hair loss is probably not being caused by exposure to masculinizing hormones, like dihydrotestosterone. And three, they're done in individuals with confirmed pre-existing biotin deficiencies. So we're not talking about studies that were done in healthy 26 year old men with progressive frontal temporal recession. We're not talking about studies that were done in 35 year olds with thinning around the crown. We're talking about studies that were done in documented cases of biotin deficiency. And guess what? Chances are, if you're a healthy individual, you probably do not have a biotin deficiency. And if you do have a biotin deficiency, you're probably gonna have other accompanying symptoms such as skin rashes, uh, seborrheic dermatitis, which is dandruff, or in worst cases of biotin deficiencies, you might also have seizures. Um, there are, however, certain factors that can put you at risk of having a biotin deficiency. For example, if you have a genetic disorder, if you have a gastrointestinal disorder, if you like to eat a lot of raw eggs, if you're taking long courses of antibiotics, if you're an alcoholic, if you're taking Accutane or anti-seizure drugs, and if your diet is trash, it's possible that you have a biotin deficiency and it might be something to uh, look into. And what I do like about biotin is that biotin is very safe. You're probably not gonna have any side effects from biotin and you can at least leverage the placebo effect with this supplement. However, biotin does interact with lab tests, so definitely let your doctor know if you're taking the supplement and it's probably not gonna help you if you're experiencing male pattern hair loss. It's definitely not gonna be a substitute for finasteride or minoxidil or any other type of evidence-based treatment for male pattern hair loss. I would personally advise seeing a doctor to rule out other causes of hair loss and to confirm that you actually do have a biotin deficiency before using biotin as your sole treatment for hair loss. Anyways, that's all I have to talk to you about today. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it very much. And of course, if you're looking for high quality pharmacy services, visit Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy. This is the number one pharmacy in the city of Toronto. At Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy, we offer uh, COVID vaccines, we offer um, pharmaceutical services, we take all kinds of insurances, we do uh, travel tests, including the PCR test and the rapid antigen test. And uh, yeah, so visit Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.